What's up, I'm Aidan. I am your friendly DIY self builder. And today I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna tape and joint my Aquapanel cement tile backer board. You can get a few different brands of this stuff, but this one's by Knauf, and I'm gonna pronounce that as Knauf. This stuff is lighter, easier, faster apparently. Just some quick installation tips. Always leave your three to five mil gap in between. I use these for spacings and these are glazing packers. Stagger your joints. Use your washers for your tile backer board. Screw spacing should be 250 mil or less. If you can, knocking out between your joists so you can get the extra screws in. Don't screw too close to the edge, 15 mil is about right. Otherwise this happens. You need alkaline resistant mesh tape. This one's from NALF themselves. I'll be using this one today. You can get a different type of one. I've used this previously. This one's a bit sticky, so it will stick on the actual wall. You've got slightly different technique for this because this one you would stick on first like that, and then you do your adhesive, but we're doing it the other way around today. First of all, you need to get a little bit of adhesive on the wall. So I've got one of my old trowels. You just need one with obviously straight bits. Bucket trowel, bucket, some adhesive. I like to use Ultra for my tile adhesive. This one is standard set and it's flexible. You might be better off using a rapid set on this, but this is what I've got. I like mixing my tile adhesive with a good old trusty SDS drill from Titan Screwfix. And for this particular application, I've got an SDS whisk. This one is 10 times better than this one, which is pretty much for paint, but you could get away with using it. That's got a hex on it. I've got a microfiber cloth. This is damp. I'm just gonna literally wipe where I'm gonna be jointing, just in case there's any extra dust. This is the consistency that you kind of want. How I judge the thickness, I basically get a big lump like this. Okay, you turn it, one, two. All right, let's try that again. One, two, yeah, that's too thin. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. That's right. There you go. First things first, we wanna tuck the adhesive into the hole as much as we can. Okay, it's all tucked. Now the general thickness on the edge of this is 100 mil ish. So you just wanna get it the same kind of size. So you're basically laying this on a few mil thick. We're gonna lay our tape in. Just push it in. You don't want a prominent edge, so we're just going to try and feather it out a little bit. If you're overlaying your tape on edges, you need to overlap by at least 100 mil, I think it is. So I'm gonna do it everywhere. Obviously I won't do the bottom. I will do the corners. I've done the corners before and it seemed to be okay, so I'll do that. Cement board is better behind the shower. I know you can get the cement backer board that's got the foam in, but I like using this stuff because it's 12 and a half mil thick. Then I'm using a nine and a half mil plasterboard here. And by the time your skim goes over this, it comes pretty much level with this part here. And then when I tile this, I'll come slightly across and then I can get my shower screen down there and everything just sits nice and tight. I'm just gonna crack the rest of that out now. And then I've got a couple of little bits in here. I've got to do the V-Lux reveals. Then my plaster is coming and then I can crack out that shower room. I will be tanking this as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, then make sure you subscribe and push the bell notification. If you're interested in my DIY self build, then please check out the channel. Smash the like button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. This is bonus footage. Oh God. Oh, no. <laughs> if you want to see how I'm doing a corner, so the gap, I'm still packing right into the corner.
Okay, we'll lay the tape in. Just whack it in with your fingers, don't worry about it. Right, so this board here is where the gap is, that one goes behind. So what you wanna do is you wanna go on this side. So if you can imagine if no stuff was there, this trail would slide into the gap. So what you wanna do is just push push that in into the gap it won't go in the gap but obviously it needs to go as close as possible yep. and you just carry it like that right so you wait you wait all the way up tuck it in push it in and then once you've done that side, then you come in and you do this side and you can keep it tight. And here's one I've done earlier. They're pretty tight. All right.